morning, good evening, good afternoon, Giants fans. It's your pre-game show with Jake and Jordan. As always, it's myself and Jordan. How are you doing, pal? Oh, fantastic, mate. How are you? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm excited for this one. You know, I think it's a bit of retribution. Because uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you've already seen him on our screens. If you're listening on uh, Spotify, he's, he's back again with the silky voice. It's Mr. Ginge. How are you doing, pal? Yeah, not too bad, mate. How are you, boys? Oh, good, mate. All good. Just uh, as I just said, then I'm just waiting for a bit of retribution on this game. Um, bit of a tough one to watch last Wednesday, you know, in the trophy. Um, we've had our trophy. Great result, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> from your side. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to deep dive into <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> we're going to deep dive into the previous game and match up between us. Um, and Ginge, we're going to start off with you, mate. Uh, can we figure out how to calm down Michael Boutnick? Because he killed us in the last game, mate. Yeah, mate. Um, Martin's something different. He's he's a he's a clutch shooter. I mean, that shot that he hit over Donovan, I spoke to him after the game and he, he, he'd already planned in his head to take that shot. He just didn't know how he was going to get it, whether it was shoot it in his face or step back. He was always going to shoot that. Yeah. And that, that, that sealed the deal for us. I mean... His, he was four from eight from three-point range, nine from 15 from from as field goals go. So he's, yeah, he's, he's just different gravy. Five from seven from, from two-point range. Yeah. Can't argue that from your captain's performance. But, you know, I spoke to you, Ginge, um, on the phone uh, the day after the game, and I, I said to you, like, again, Boutnick could have just shot it either way there. And I said, on the three, even though a lot of three-pointers were scored from both teams, the, you know the defense couldn't have been that much better. You know, like that one with DJ, he just he just had ice in his veins there about neck. You know, he just he knew it's like, it's like I said, he knew what shot he was taking and he knew it was going in. It was just when he was going to get the ball. It was a formality. Yeah. You know, a DJ could have done nothing about that. And there was only a few times where there was you know shooters wide open. Other than that, there was some great shots going up, like and contested shots, and it was just going in and. Yeah, I said to I said to you on the pregame podcast last time. I said it's whoever a player. It's going to be an individual player goes off first, and it and it was yeah. him. It was him, and it's simple, and that's what won the game. Yeah, him and Brandon Anderson. Let's be honest, like Brandon yeah. Anderson, yeah. 60 percent from two point range and four from seven, so fifty seven percent from three point range. Can't yeah. argue more than that. To be honest, Jordan Williams when he hit that three point shot from the start of the game, yeah. I was just like, okay, we'll, we'll be all right. Well, and it was a great time. Came out, ran the ran the fight and took that um, took an early lead. Which I um, you talk about Brandon Anderson just before we cut out there. Yeah, so Brandon Anderson, like he's he's a he's a different level of uh, of player at the moment. He's come out and he's the last five games. He's really shown why we brought him in. Um, but for me, when Jordan Williams hit that first three point shot, that was that was unbelievable. The first run that we went on, I think we took a fourteen two lead at one point. And to be honest, I sat next to Gary BJ's for us and I was like, blow out. I was like, it's going to happen. And you guys pulled it back. And I mean, looking at the stats from last game, both of us hit 20 points in the first quarter. Both of us, both of us hit 30 points in the second quarter. And then the fourth, third quarter, we hit 28 to your 20. And you guys hit 26 to our 24 in the, in the fourth. So it was yeah. tight all the way through. And we predicted it. I just don't think we predicted every single player to go off. Well, uh, yeah. go, going back to that uh, Jordan Williams three to open the game, I actually showed Jordan this clip, um, and we had, we had we had a bit of a debate on the, the new the new rules on the gather step or the travel, um, because from the from the angle that Desi Reels got it at, the pass the drive comes in, he passes it back out to Williams on the top of the key, he just catches it, takes a one two to the right and pops it up, and I went Jordan. Right, is this a travel? And he was like, no, because they've obviously changed the rules with um, the gather step and that. It was really frustrating yeah. that that opened the game because it was a phenomenal shot. I, I was just, I was screaming travel at everyone and they were like, no, it's a gather step. I was like, you're, you're lying, he's not bounced it. <laughs> it, it. It also as well completely changed Breon Brady's guarding of, of him. Because yeah. Breon like, was completely off him. He had no... Because in his eyes, he was never going to shoot a free. And he was like, as if that's the first shot that's gone past me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, absolutely. Absolutely. He's, I know, like I said to you before, he's been working on his, uh, his shooting um, over the summer. So it's really paying off. I mean, his mid-range jumper is pretty solid. 
Um, and now he, he can stretch that that floor for a three-point shot. I mean, I don't want him taking them all the time um, but <laughs> yeah. because of the work that he does in the post is so good. Yeah. But he's definitely he's definitely opening the floor up. And I think that works, particularly against Brion because of his size. And he's, he's so solid. But when you stretch him a bit, you've got a bit of pace on him. And Jordan's quick off that first step as well for a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we were just talking off camera before we started this. And just looking at... Um, on the BBL website, they have the you know the bar chart on the right hand side. Yeah, we've, we've spoke about it before. The, the three point, the three points to you was thirty three twenty four. Uh, sorry, that's three points attempted. Um, to three points made was sixteen to nine to, for you guys, but we beat you in the two points attempted and made. So it just really showed having the outside game, which we knew we were going to battle against, absolutely prevailed against us. Yeah, and I mean, we shot eight from 10 from the free throw line and you guys shot nine from 16. Yeah. So to go to the charity stripe and hit below just over 50%, that yeah. would have that would have tied the game up. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And again, with the second chance points, what, what was that stat you reeled off at us before with the offensive rebounds? <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys hit... Defensive, sorry, offensive rebounds overall throughout the whole game. You got 16, we got five. 16 offensive yeah. rebounds. Do you know? And five five offense, five offensive for us is, is shocking. Yeah. I mean, there's one thing that really it frustrates, I, I say frustrated, it won't frustrate, but I think we could have done with is because uh, we didn't start Sam Cassell. And I think at the moment he's just too vital to not start. You know, um, and I do think him and Hudson yeah. do work well together. They do work well. Uh, I just think when when he was starting to say Hudson and um, was it Whelan? Let me just check. Yeah, so he started Whelan. Yeah. That was bringing Whelan into a guard position because I, I watched Whelan bring the ball up a few times, you know, and it's just taking him out of position. I just think maybe that, I mean, that was my only analogy on the starting lineup. I would have started Sam Cassell. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, he went he went off, what, what, what did he get? You know, 13 points. There wasn't a lot coming off the bench points-wise. Zach Powell got six. David Ulf got six. Um, obviously, the main, I mean, we had a few people like Owandi 10, Whelan 25, again, went off, you know. DJ 16, Brady, was it yet 16? Do you know what I mean? So there was enough points there. And I said it, I said it on the show after it. You know, you can't give 102 points away in a game and expect to get a result. You just can't, yeah. you know. But, yeah. but likewise with that, you know, you don't expect to score 96 points and still get beat as well, you know. <laughs> so, To be honest, we like, I spoke to uh, Matt Newby after the game and uh, spoke to a couple of the players. And, like, <clears throat> from our perspective, to give up 96 points and win a game, that should never happen. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think what made it... Worst from our point of view was we had like 50 seconds left. We were down by two um, and DJ went to the line to get to, uh, hit, hit two three throws, brought us back within one. And and that's what, obviously where we talked about the Boutlex three over DJ, which just knocked the air out of us. Even though we came back with yeah. two points to go, that just sh clearly knocked the air out of us because we had a foul very quickly after that. Obviously, we're at the charity stripe, um, and then that was it. It was just free, it was it was just free throw central, just trying for us to try and stop the clock to try and get another two or three points on us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just um, I think it was one of those games, wasn't it? We we sat here and we said before the game. Obviously, I went highest point scored, and you guys went quite a low KG affair that we were all expecting. And to be honest, I when I when I heard what you guys were saying, I can I, I kind of changed my 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 mind frame in it. I thought that you guys were going to be right. It was going to be more of a cagey affair. It was going to be a bit more um, challenging in terms of what the defense side. And then, literally, I said, like as we as we said after, and we had a catch up pretty shortly after the game. It was just everybody went off. Like, yeah, yeah. Martin Bartnick twenty three, Jordan Williams seventeen, Anderson twenty four, Lawson ten. We had Elon come off the bench and she hit eleven. And then you guys had obviously Whelan twenty five, Marsh, uh, Marshall Johnson. Uh, DJ 16 Brady 16 Cassell Jr 13 like no one no one didn't play well it was yeah. just it was just that clutch time and I, I think I think Friday's game from 
our point of view, I know we've said it for a while, obviously the past four or five games and that, but if there's any team, and I don't mean this in any, any disrespect to the Wolves, if there's any team that we need that we need to get that win against, it is Wolves. Because we've shown that we can run with you, you know. We, we've shown all, the entire game, barring the like the 15-point lead we give up in the first quarter. But to bring it back and to have such a close game at the end, this is this is the win we need to carry on our season, you know. We're, we're five and eight in the championship. Yeah, that was a trophy game that we got knocked out on, but being five and eight, and we've said it in the past, is is not a, it's not a bad record at all. And it's just a, it's just a shocking state of affairs when when you get five and a, five losses in a row. You know, if those five losses were spread out across eight to ten games, we wouldn't be here being we wouldn't be here as fans, not necessarily us two, but a lot of fans wouldn't be here going, oh, what's going on? Why have we lost five in a row? You know, if those were spread across the eight the eight games that we mentioned, there'd be a completely different outlook on the team. Yeah. And, you know, just to talk, to touch on that for myself, I think if any fan, and this is me, BJ, if any fan is, is looking there and thinking, yo, why are we losing? Then, you know, you're not watching it properly. You know, there is certain things we're doing wrong on the court, but there's also been all sorts going on off the court. There's, there's been disruption. There's been injuries. Is it there everything? There's so many atmospherics mm. that's, you know, that's hit it. We've, you know, we've hit teams at the wrong time. Plymouth, you know, teams like, you know, are just banging form. Do you know what I mean? We're just, unfortunately, you know, with the run of games and it doesn't get any easier. You know, we've got Worcester, then Leicester. Do you know what I mean? Two teams, Worcester's just beat us. I think the key, the key thing going into this game on Friday is, Two words, unfinished business. You know, we we left something in that arena on that day for me, you know, because we know we could have won it. You know, it could have gone either way. Any, You know, we, we've we got both spectrums of fans here. We've got, got Ginger, we've got us. And we both both say that game could have gone either way, you yeah. know. And there's little, there's little bits and bats, you know. I mean, we look back and say the Leicester game, it was the free throws. That, that could have won us the game. You know, we look back at the Leicester game, the start, uh, not Leicester, sorry, Worcester game, it was the start that killed us, mm -hmm. you know. If we just eradicate eradicate these little things, you know, we are going to go on a run. And that's absolutely no disrespect to any fans and anyone's intelligence. It's just, you know, th there was something wrong and they're working you know, hard. And you can see it game by game. You know, we're pushing teams who's played in Euro League recently, great teams, you know, uh, right to the wire. And, and it's going to come, and I say it every week, and it will come, and, and you'll find we might even go on another run soon. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, but yeah, I, I think the key words going into that is there the, the, the was a lot left out on the court for us there, and there, and there is going to be unfinished business kind of thing. And I, I think, I think like we said in the past, right, obviously right now without the fans, and you, you'll hear this for the entirety of the season, we assume that obviously the fans aren't going to be there till the end of the, until the next season now, but we're going back, we're going back, away and if home court advantage means anything apart from you know knowing the rims knowing the dead spots as we spoke about in the past we're going back down to Worcester and it's like we know it's a tough game down there and that that mindset of going down to Worcester and being like okay we've got unfinished business we know what we can do let's go and do it again and show them how to do it on their own court um and then I believe we've got we've got you've got to come up to us in March somewhere around there yeah, yeah I think so. 24th of March, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I think it's just a case of from the off. And I, I think we actually said it during the game. Whoever goes up by six points wins this game. Yeah, it's it's true, man. I mean, we were up, what was it, Ginger? Did we go up by seven or eight at one point? Yeah, seven or eight yeah. at one point. And, yeah. and I, there was a possession where I can't remember who it was, but... We got a steal or a rebound or something. It was a stop, basically. And we went up the court and we didn't convert. And, and again, I think if that had been converted, you know, I think it'd have been bang on. It's like he said, six or eight points. You know, it, you know, we can't, you know, there's no real atmospherics at play here. You know, there's no, you know, it's only two hours away. The court's fantastic. The facilities mm -hmm. are fantastic. Yeah, you might have Jin shouting at you from the sideline every now and again. Play Michael Jackson whenever he can at you. <laughs> but which actually, which actually yeah. brings me onto um, onto something, Jin. So something we talked about uh, on the phone and on here and stuff. We want to know what was the trash talking like because we we're, we're a bit obsessed with it, you know. And you you got it first hand. I, you know, I want names. I, I want words, <laughs> mate. Honestly, like some of some of what was going on. 
like we, me and Gary were sat there. We were like, this is like an old fashioned scrimmage. People yeah. talking trash, going at each other, properly going at each other as well. Obviously, Donovan, um, <laughs> Breon, Jordan Williams, <laughs> Martin. Like, yeah. it was just ridiculous. Like, it was absolutely un believable some of what was uh, what was being said um and it, it do you know what it made for a great game and i think the 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 scary thing is like i i said to, in the last podcast obviously about local rivalries and that we've got bristol you guys have got cheshire yeah. but this season particularly this feels like a massive rivalry yeah. i don't really yeah. know why but it comes because i think because we've played each other in so many so many games so far already i think we're very it really even. does feel like yeah what it is, it, you know, we're, we're identifying each other as playoff potential because we're not going to finish in the top high of the playoff spots. We, I think we know that, but we're mm. going to be competing for that maybe six, seventh, and eighth spot, probably more seventh and eighth, maybe. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it, it's really strange. But then it obviously things like get blown out of the water when Cheshire get beat by by Glasgow at home. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah we've got Cheshire tonight, they've tipped off yeah. actually. I need to check the stats on that, but we, yeah. we've, um, We've uh, we've t- we've played we're playing Cheshire tonight, but I noticed that um, BBA they've split us tonight. So Drew's gone with Cheshire, Jay's gone with us. I'm not sure. Ah. I, I think we're going to get the win, especially uh, coming off the back of that great win at, at Surrey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So it should be an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. We're 23 10 down at the minute, so maybe not. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what though? Look, look at the first half that Cheshire had against Glasgow though, and then yeah, Glasgow that's very true. In the third, you know, every, I I find it so fascinating. Every team is so beatable this year. It's mental. Every team can be beaten on the day oh, yeah. by anybody. You yeah. know, by absolutely anybody. You know, all, all it takes takes is a few little little bits and bats to happen, and games are wide open again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. Looks looks to me, looking at the stats from tonight's game, um, KJ is not going to be playing for us against you guys. Um, okay. He's not on the bench for tonight. I know that there's uh, there's rumours of some some sort of injury, so potentially that's that's knocked him out of this game and maybe Friday's game. Yeah. Well, uh, it really does hurt us actually. This is a this is a, a game for player player notice wise that we were talking about. Um, NBA's just come on for Cheshire as we're recording this. Yeah, yeah, is, that's going to be an interesting matchup with him and Jordan Williams, eh? Mm. Yeah, and you know, I saw something actually um, uh, with um, NBA um, and uh, Coach Thomas, and and it, NBA was just doing that thing where he was just backing down, and then he was just barely rim grazing it. I, I just think he thinks he can back down on the whole world, you know, <laughs> and and he. <laughs> Probably can on his day, you know, but he did it. He must have done it about three possessions in a row. And Tom, you know, cold coach Thomas has took him off rightfully so. And he's, he's just slamming around. And I just think, bloody hell, <laughs> you know, yeah, is, that, I know. Is, that, is that what you need? Something but, that also concerns me as well, boys, just looking at the stats, no Josh McSwiggan on the bench for us either. Oh, yeah. The thing is with so injuries, down six pro- like, pros. Yeah. Well, I mean, with, regarding that, are you guys? Uh, you're away. At, you're away, aren't you? Yeah. So obviously, yeah, yeah, because you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'll be there. Yeah, 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 realize, well, yeah. yeah. So maybe they're just resting players for yeah you know, Friday's game, maybe because with the travel and everything, maybe they're just concentrating on the conditions. Right? Mm. Yeah, potentially. I mean, I, I would have thought they'd have been at least named on the bench, but maybe yeah. they're just resting, but. That not having Josh McSwiggan and um, <coughs> KJ in, in the rotation for Friday plays massively into your guys' hands, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, also, um, I'm hoping that it gets announced before I say this on the recording. Uh, we've got a new player on the way, Ginge. Oh, great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, believe he la- I believe he landed <laughs> last night and... He was in training today or last night as well. Both, both. Yeah, and he's a little bit of a worldie, apparently. American. <laughs> American. Oh, Sack, here, we've got a Shaq. We've got a Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> you drop it out. Going to pull a Dennis Rodman to the Brighton Bears move on us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, no. I, I, th- I think I think we're announcing it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that should be. Oh, great! That, that cements our uh, that cements an interest, a very interesting game. Then, <laughs> yeah, um, I just think um, on on Friday again. I said it last game. Form's going to go out the window again. I just think both teams will chuck the kitchen sink at it again. Um, I just think it's going it's going to be a big big game again. You know, great court. Shit announcer, um, great. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but yeah, it was just, it was just great, and it was actually really funny. You know, just a little insight for the listeners. We was obviously uh, texting Ginge throughout the game, uh, in between, you know, like um, quarters, and he's like, "Oh, this is real." I've just heard DJ say this, and then <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like, um, but yeah, it was just crazy, man. But I mean, I'm. I'm confident, you know, I've spoken to some of the guys, you know, I'm confident we've trained really well. Um, I'm confident, you know, we're going to be tip top as Worcester will be, you know, whether there's injuries or not. I'm, I, you know, I'm confident, you know, both teams at the end of the day, you know, we're both professional teams and, you know, whatever hardships are going on, again, it just goes out the window for this game, you know, 40 Absolutely. minutes are just, you know, going, going head to head. Um, and yeah, I mean... This kind of brings me nicely onto the the whole predictions thing, Jake. If you're ready for that, I've but, got I've got my pen in my hand, ready to go, man. Yeah, um, I just you know I think personally, I think it's going to be Worcester eighty four. Okay, pretty high. Okay, yeah, yeah. Giants eighty eight. Okay. I've been thinking because the reason why I wanted to bring it up was so you know what my memory's like, it, it'll just go straight out. Of my head. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> and, a, and a couple of stats. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go double double for um, for DJ. Mm. Oh, uh, yep, yep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go plus twenty five. For our Jord. Okay. And I'm going to do doobly doobly Brian Brady. So you basically lifted the stats from the last game and gone with that, yeah? <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking of that. I, I mean, I swear it is still going to happen. It is still going to happen. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but I would go on. I would. I think that's called pundits' insight, isn't it? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> jo- Jordan's <laughs> t- tipster of the week. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you just done me in now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No. And I, and I would go some of Worcester's stats, but obviously with injuries and stuff, I don't want to. You know. Uh, I don't know who's injured. I don't know what was going on, but I will say, if Mr. Williams is playing, he's he's, he's a walking double double as well. So cool. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say, I'm, I, I, I'm hoping. Actually, no. I got actually no. Go on, Ginger. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you have this one. Uh, predictions on this bad? Uh I'm gonna go Wolf seventy six. Oh. And I'm gonna go Manchester seventy. Okay. Some defense being played. Yeah, some D. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I really think yeah. so. I think both no, teams it's... would have seen and scouted and done a lot of scouting, and it'll be a lot yeah. more of a KG affair this time than 102 mm. to 96. Okay. And I'm going to show uh, about Nick 20 plus, Anderson 20 plus, oh, and about Jordan about Williams Nick. double double. Yeah, Williams yeah, double double. Yeah, about Nick. Yeah, about Nick 20 plus, Brett Anderson 20 plus, and uh, Williams double double. Got to be said. <laughs> Oh yeah, James. You know, do you know our new well, rule, by the way. Whoever, whoever win, if anyone actually wins it, yeah. I mean, the double doubles don't have to count, but if anyone gets the points, they have to buy the wings for the other guys. <laughs> so if if I if I win it, I have to buy you wings. No, no. Oh yeah, is that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> It's gone, mate. I've been working all day. Just to let all the listeners know, uh, this is a lot later than we usually record it. So this is, this is why we're a bit all over tonight. <laughs> no. no, so basically, right, let me get this right. Hang on. He's not had a beer yet. So if, 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 say for example, you you get the score right, me and Jake yeah. have to put, put in to buy you wings. Correct, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, perfect. Sounds Which is fine because we're sponsored by Wings Company, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how you're getting them delivered to Worcester. Oh, mate. Where we'll the doors are away. <laughs> Post them down two days later and they'll come back out moldy, yeah. <laughs> Just say you like them down there, anyway. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, Jake, okay. let's go, baby. I'm going to go Giants 92. Ooh. Wolves 81. Oh. oh. Right. What's that? 11 point game? 11 point yeah. game. Okay. Stat wise, I'm also going to go for a double double for DJ. I'm, I'm going to go. Now, this is obviously not a serious one, but I'm going to go Martin Boutlek to get two or less points. <laughs> which, which I'm just m- more so hoping for than actually getting. Uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, Williams is just praying uh, for that one, mate. Just one, just one. <laughs> um, yeah. Williams, I reckon, is going to get 15 or more rebounds. Good shout. Could be. Uh, and I'm going to do it again. Alex Owande to get five or no. three pointers. Uh, go he's going. He's going for it. I'm telling you. <laughs> he's going to score five or more three pointers this game. I'm telling I, you. Actually, to be fair, it didn't work last time, did it? Me, me stopping you, so let's just go with it. <laughs> yeah. He's going he's gonna to come I out. I don't know, though. I think you might, I think you might be a curse there, Jay. <laughs> well, the thing I was thinking is there is that because obviously he said about 11 points. So if you look at like the other scores and stuff, we need to find that double figures. Mm. So we need need someone to go from, say, eight points to 18 points. Yeah. You know, we need, you know, in that game. So if it, if it is anyone, it probably is, in my eyes, our best shooter when he's hot, Alex Awandi. Yeah. You know, so I think that's a good shout, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, so- I'd agree with that. Yeah, one day is when he's on on form, he's unbelievable. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, man. So, just to round it off, there. Um, obviously, we, we have pre-recorded this, so we will get the scores out on the day for our predictions. It's going to be a dogfight, as we've said before. Um, if any, if anything like last game is going to happen again, it's just going to be an entertainment game all round. So, I think from both sides of it, I can speak on all on all of our behalves here. It's going to be a great game to watch again. Um, if you are watching from home, as you, as you should be on the BBL player uh, or via Worcester Wolves YouTube, make sure you turn the volume all the way up to try and hear Ginger's shout outs and his commentary during the game. It is quite entertaining. Um, Which but- is something before you carry on there, Jake. I heard the joy in your voice when you announced about next three pointer. And it's something <laughs> that it killed me. Because it was almost like, I, yeah, no. If you translated that, it was basically <laughs> stick it to Jake and Jordan. That's all I heard there. Because you just messaged at the end of that third right, quarter, saying, "Bout next gonna go off. Bout next is gonna go off." Because he just sneaked a few in at the end of the third, and I was, just, and I was just like, "Nah, nah, we've got this. It's sound. It's sound." And it's like bout neck, and I'm just like, "No way." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think my phrasing around it was bout neck takes a three and as it drops I just went six it really loud and the six it was basically for you two to hear yeah. Cheers, <laughs> wasn't that yeah. also followed by Boutnek looking at the cameras pointing to his veins on his arm as well yeah. just, to, yeah. just to rub it in there <laughs> yeah absolutely and I think uh, Derek from uh, D's Reels got that nicely on camera as well yeah. for everybody to see it so I'll keep, I'll keep posting that in the group boys no problem <laughs> <laughs> but it's a shame now because Jake, Jake's condemned him, to, condemned him to two points, so his sound were all good. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, mate, he'll probably have two points, get injured, and sit out for the half for the three yeah. quarters of the game. Now Jake's mentioned his name. <laughs> pull a wheel and just pull a wheel and we sound. <laughs> by, by the way, I'm not condoning any injuries to any player. Just to, just to display. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be an incredible, entertaining game. You, you're gonna be watching it from your sofa with your chicken wings, with your brew, or with your beer on Worcester Wolves YouTube or via the BBL player and on your season pass with the Manchester Giants. Thank you very much for joining us, as always, jo- Jordan. Thank you very much, man. Ginge, it's a thank pleasure you. as always for you to come on, brother. Thank you so much. Anytime, boys. You know that. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the game. Cheers.
And yeah, we are bad. recording. Let's go. Oh, we're keeping that bit in. Cheers for that, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh.